Welcome to another episode of DIY Tile Guy. I want to get into trowel sizes for tiles. So today I'm going to go over some different trowel sizes, different kinds of tile that you can put them in. But first of all, why do we use these notch trowels in the first place? What's the point of them? So for starters, let's get some mortar on here. The point of the notch trowel is that the, the ridge is an even size and you put your tile on there and as the tile compresses, the gaps in between give the mortar somewhere a place to go and therefore fills in everything underneath and it is a perfect bond and is perfectly supported. That's the idea anyway. So why the different size notches? Too big of a notch and you throw the tile on and the mortar comes all the way up through the grout joints and it can be uneven. Conversely, too small of a notch and you put your tile on there, you can see hardly any of the mortar transferred over. So mortar can compress, it can fill in underneath without it being overly messy and coming up around the tile. So we'll start a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch notch trowel. What does that mean? It means that the notches are 1 8 of an inch apart, 1 8 of an inch deep, and it's a square notch. And then the teeth, sometimes they'll say 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8. All that means is that the teeth on it are also 1 8 of an inch. Trowel. This is about the smallest trowel that we use in the tile world. What do we use this for? So the curdy trowel, this is my old curdy trowel I've had for years, is nothing more than a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch notch trowel. So we would use it for installing the thin curdy membrane. Now keep in mind, this is not curdy, okay? This is a different brand. I don't have any curdy on me, but it's the thin waterproof type membranes that you would put in your shower. You put it on, spread it out, you uh, get the ridges of the mortar out. And this, this membrane is a little bit translucent so that you can see uh, how good your bond is here. So keep in mind, other manufacturers, uh, they want a bigger trowel, the next size up, to use with their thin membranes. So Schluter is one of the only ones that you would use the eighth inch by eighth inch notch trowel for. Okay, and what else would we use it for? We use it for very, very small mosaics, very small, very thin, flat backs. Some of those would go on here fine. That's about all that we use the 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch trowel for. So next size up, the 1 quarter by 3 16 inch V notch trowel. What, is that, what does that mean? It is 1 quarter inch across, 3 16 of an inch deep, which is almost a quarter, and it's in the shape of a V. This puts a little bit more mortar down than this, but a little bit less than the next size up, the 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch square notch trowel. So here's the ridges here. You can see it puts a little bit more down. So what do we use this trowel for? We use it, other manufacturers, many of them want this trowel size used for their thin membranes. So Curdy wants you to use the 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch. Other manufacturers such as Ardex has a membrane, uh, Hydroman sheet membrane, the Weedy Subliner Dry, they want you to use this size trowel as opposed to the smaller 8th and 1 8th by 1 8th inch notch trowel. You can see when you put this on here, it's a little bit easier to get the coverage on there. So what else do we use this size trowel for? Some manufacturers will want this size trowel used for their uncoupling membrane. Now I'm holding up Ditra. Ditra has a, their own special trowel, but it's about this same size. So you would use this size or similar for Ditra, and I'll, use, I'll show you my Ditra trowel here in a minute. And some other manufacturers will want you to use this size trowel for their uncoupling membranes. Others will want you to go the next size up. So what am I saying? Read the manufacturer's instructions for which size trowel you will want to use. So what's an, what's, what else can we use th for this for? We can use this for mosaic tile. These are penny rounds. Uh, sometimes the little white hex, or the little hex tiles, the small ones work well with this. Uh, you want to make sure you get a good bond in here. And that is not a bad size trowel for that. So the one quarter inch by 3 16 inch V notch trowel, we use some thin waterproof membranes depending on the manufacturer. We use some uncoupling membranes, again, depending on the manufacturer. And we use some of the thinner 
mosaic, small mosaic tiles, and some of the glass tiles, small, thin glass tiles. And we'll move on to the Dietrich trowel. So we have the 3 16th by 3 16th square notch trowel. This is what the same thing as what a Dietrich trowel is. This is the Dietrich trowel I've had on for years. It's got the Schluter branding. This is what they want you to use for Dietra. Now this puts about the same amount of mortar down as the previous trowel, the one quarter inch by three sixteenth of V-notch. It used to be you could only get this square notch trowel in the Dietra branding, but apparently some other manufacturers now have this square notch size. So what do you use this trowel for? You use it for Dietra, and you can also use it for the same place as we use a one quarter inch by three sixteenth inch V-notch trowel. Next is the one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel. One quarter inch across, one quarter inch deep, and one quarter inch is each one of these teeth also. So we use this trowel for, if you were installing cement board on a floor, you would use this trowel to trowel the mortar on underneath the cement board. Yes, you're supposed to have mortar underneath your cement board. You would also use it for some uncoupling membranes that are not DITRA. Some manufacturers want you to use the thicker one quarter inch by one quarter inch notch trowel for their membrane. Also, some of the deeper uncoupling membranes, such as this is Dietra XL. This is the trowel that, that uh, Schluter wants you to use for Dietra XL and also Dietra Heat. They have another trowel that's branded their way but it is simply a one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel. What else would we use it for? Infamous subway tile, three by six. These are probably from Home Depot. The one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel is an excellent trowel for subway tile, especially the kind you get down at Home Depot. It doesn't just have to be subway tile, also the six by sixes, the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Pretty much all this around this si same size ceramic tile. I've also got 4x8 tile that I found. It's a little bit thinner than the stuff at Home Depot. This also works excellent with the 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch square notch trowel. Another tile that works excellent, this quarter inch notch trowel works really well for a lot of the 2x2 two two mosaic tiles. And also, I've got this linear glass mosaic. So I'll show you a little trick here with glass, it works really well if you smooth the notches over, just real lightly. I'm going over this with the flat side of the trowel, very, very lightly, just to kind of fill in those, the gaps. And then you put the glass mosaic on there, and that is a nice little trick for installing glass. So this is another, the one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel. Works great for these linear glass mosaic tiles as well. Make sure you use a white mortar and make sure you use one that's good for glass. So what do we use the one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel with? We use it for cement board. We use it for some uncoupling membranes. You'll have to check with the manufacturer. We use it for a lot of the heat, the thicker heat membranes, uh, such as Dietra Heat, Dietra XL also, because it's thicker, we use it for that. We use it for subway tile. We use it for two by two mosaic tiles on mount, uh, that are sheet mounted. And we can use it for the linear glass mosaic tile. So a very versatile trowel, and it's one that's very popular, probably the most sold trowel in our industry. Next up is the one quarter inch by three eighths inch square notch trowel. So that is one quarter of an inch across, three eighths of an inch deep, and this, it's a square or a rectangular notch trowel. So the one quarter inch by three eighths inch square notch trowel, we use this for some of the uncoupling heat membranes. Some of the thicker, the quarter inch heated membranes, uh, maybe Dietra Heat Duo uh, will want you to use a quarter inch by three eighths inch. You have to check on the back of the, check with the manufacturer. So that's about the only membranes that we would install with the quarter inch by three eighths inch square notch trowel. However, now I don't have a 12 by 12, but I have this 13 by 13 inch tile here. And this is a great size for this. Throw it on there, wiggle it back and forth against the ridges a little bit. And remember, always check the coverage underneath that that one is not too bad. So you want to use this for 
12 by 12s, 13 by 13s, 16 by 16s. Some of the heated membranes, the thicker heat uh, uncoupling membranes. And that's about it that you would want to use this trowel for. The big half inch by half inch square notch trowel, okay? One half inch across, one half inch deep. Each tooth is one half inch for the one half inch square notch trowel. So where do we use this? So we use the big square notch trowel for the big tiles. So 12 by 24s, 24 by 24s. This is a great trowel size for that. Now conversely, they also, they, they, I don't see it as much anymore, but they have a quarter inch by one half inch square notch trowel. And you can use that interchangeably with this one. As long as it's that half inch deep, you use them about the same. And when you get into the big tiles, anything, you know, anything bigger than a 12 by 12, I would say, make sure you back butter and fill in the back of that trowel. Put it on here, stick it on, run it back and forth. And always check your coverage on these. And you can see, not too bad of coverage that we're getting on that one. So the one half inch by one half inch square notch trowel, use it for big tile, anything like 16 inches and up, I would say, up to 24 inches. Some you get into the planks, those will get to be 36 inches. You're going to want to use the bigger trowel. Finally, we get into this. What is this funny looking trowel here? This is what they call a Euro notch trowel. Now, what is this trowel for? It puts the, the a little bit different kind of notch pattern down. And what it's designed to do, it's designed so that the, the ridges zip together a little bit. So it's a little bit better of a design as far as getting coverage goes. A lot of times, People will use this in place of a half inch by half inch square notch trowel. And if you get into the really big tiles, they're bigger than four foot, bigger than 48 inch, uh, a lot of times they will specify that you use this trowel. So we put this down, make sure you back butter, and we wiggle it back and forth. And you can see that that has pretty good coverage as well. So the main thing is coverage, not so much the trowel size but this, this uh, Euro notch trowel is a favorite. So this is just a margin trowel, it is inexpensive. This is pretty much every tile setter has one of these. So if you're doing a tile project, you're gonna wanna get a margin trowel. They make ones longer than this. Most people get this size right here. I don't know what that is, six inches or something like that. And what you use this for is you use it for picking up tile, like you saw me do. You use it for cleaning up the edges. You can use it for getting into your bucket and trying to get the mortar out of the back of the bucket. It's a very uh, useful and has a lot of utility to it. So this is called a margin trowel. Thanks for joining me and remember it's all about coverage. It is not about so much the trowel size. Make sure you pick up the tile, look at what you're doing, look at the coverage, and you your project will go much, much better. So thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you like.